I bet you think that brushing and flossing is the most important thing to do to prevent gum disease and receding gums and also tooth decay. And to some extent, I would say yes, but I'm also going to say no. And that's because there is a different way to have healthy gums and prevent gum recession. And I'm going to explain that today. Did you know that your diet is actually more important than, say, what toothbrush or floss you use or how often you use it? Did you know that there's a gum-friendly diet and a way that you can prevent and cure gum disease and the same for gum recession and tooth decay too? Well, if your gums ever bleed, look red or swollen, or there's buildup on your teeth, you're going to want to know what foods you should and shouldn't eat to avoid gum disease and gum recession. It's likely that you have gum disease and you don't even know about it because you think bleeding gums are normal, so you've been ignoring them. Well, if you ignore them for too long, you could end up with bone loss and gum recession, or worse still, losing your teeth. Many of the signs of early gum disease are ignored, not just by you, but sometimes by your dentist as well. It's not normal for your gums to bleed. If your gums bleed, you could have serious dental issues and health issues going on, issues that could have been fixed or prevented and should have been fixed and prevented. If not treated on time or correctly, plaque bacteria and tartar build up under the gums, creating gum pockets. It causes the gums to recede and separate from the teeth and exposes the tooth's roots and bone that holds your teeth in. That bone gets damaged by the bacterial infection and inflammation. Now, the good news is with proper oral hygiene and a gum-friendly diet, as well as some regular dental care, you can cure gum disease and maintain excellent gum health. So let's look at what you should and shouldn't eat to keep your gums healthy and prevent receding gums. So let's look at food for healthy gums first, and I'll talk about the ones for receding gums later. First off, omega-3 foods. Omega-3 foods are healthy and packed with numerous nutrients. They contain anti-inflammatory properties that help soothe painful gums and heal the damage from gum disease. Common sources of omega-3s, they are fatty fish like salmon, herring, mackerel, sesame seeds, macadamia nuts, and pistachios. You're also going to need calcium. People who consume Food products that contain calcium actually have lower gum disease issues than those who don't. Food rich in calcium, such as sardines and vegetables, help to remineralize the enamel on your teeth and make them stronger. Adequate calcium intake with vitamin D3 and K2 helps distribute the calcium properly, and this means that you get less tar to build up and your gums are going to remain healthier. Probiotics. Naturally, the mouth contains both harmful and good bacteria. The harmful bacteria are to blame for gum disease and tooth decay. Probiotics are rich in good bacteria and help the body fight against the harmful ones that cause the gum disease and other oral infections. Now, excellent sources of probiotics include kefir, yogurt, kimchi, and sauerkraut, If you're not a fan of fermented foods, and personally I'm not, then you can take a dental probiotic instead as a lozenge or a tablet that crushes up in your mouth and that provides the good dental bacteria. Green tea. Green tea is rich in catechin, I think that's how you say it, which helps fight against gum disease. Green tea also contains antibacterial properties that weaken harmful bacteria and reduce plaque, and that inhibits the effects of gum disease. 
Leafy greens, yes, your mum was right. You've got to eat your vegetables. Leafy vegetables such as spinach, kales and broccoli have fibre, vitamins and minerals and they are great for healthy gums and teeth. And they have vitamin C, which helps reduce inflammation and helps fight against gum disease. It also soothes gum pain and prevents irritation. Eating these foods acts like a natural toothbrush. It helps um, rub away and wash away plaque and debris from the mouth. They also stimulate saliva production, helping to wash away and neutralize the harmful bacteria in the mouth and prevent gum disease. Coenzyme Q10. Foods rich in CoQ10 or ubiquinol, this is found in most animal cells because they are fat soluble vitamins. Meat and fish contain these intracellular antioxidants, which helps suppress gingivitis, gum disease, or advanced peri periodontal inflammation, which is bone loss. Excellent sources of CoQ10, organ meats like liver, kidney, or heart, fatty fishes like trout, herring, and mackerel, and then meats like beef, lamb, and chicken. I've already touched on this one slightly, but vitamin C. Vitamin C helps fight against bacterial infections and gingival bleeding in the gums. Vitamin C strengthens the gums um, and the other soft tissues in your mouth by encouraging the production of collagen protein that forms the scaffolding of your gum tissue. Foods rich in vitamin C include bell peppers, strawberries, citrus fruits, broccoli, blackcurrant, Brussels sprouts. So these are really essential things to eat. Really, what we're looking at is a diet of non-processed foods that you're going to be eating gum-friendly diet if you eat this way, and that's going to help prevent and heal gum disease. Now, I haven't forgotten, I said I'd tell you which foods to avoid if you don't want receding gums and gum disease and then sensitive teeth. When you have receding gums, you should seek treatment and you should also maintain excellent oral hygiene. Additionally, if you can avoid certain activities that worsen the condition or symptoms, that's essential. And I've done a video on that, so I'll make sure I'll link to that for you. You want to avoid acidic items like soda, apple cider vinegar, and citrus like limes that can irritate inflamed gums and contribute to more gum recession and irritation. Highly acidic things also erode the tooth's enamel, exposing it and putting it at risk to tooth decay. And it's best to avoid or limit acidic items. Avoid sweets and sugary items. Almost all sugary foods are bad news for your teeth and gums. They promote the overgrowth of harmful bacteria in the mouth, worsening gum recession or causing decay. So avoid your things like donuts, candies, soft drinks, energy drinks, cake, and chocolate. Sugar also promotes inflammation and weakens your immune system, making it harder for your gums to be healthy and for them to heal, and you're going to get more problems and recession. With recession, you're going to want to avoid cold and hot things. Um, when you've got recession that exposes the roots and they're porous and they're not well insulated, they're not supposed to be out in the outside world. Extreme temperatures from things like ice cubes, ice cream, hot drinks, that's going to cause your teeth to be more sensitive. And that means that your teeth can hurt when you clean them and you avoid brushing around the gum line. So more plaque then builds up and this causes more problems. Bouncing off sugar, I'm going to talk about starches foods high in carbohydrates, because these encourage the growth of harmful bacteria and again will worsen gum recession and increase your risk of gum disease. And to the bacteria in your mouth, these starches are just sugar. I'm sure if you have gum recession, you'd like to know what else you can do to stop it. So make sure you watch this video.